Okay, good day everyone. So we are now in our, uh, we are now going to continue. This is the fifth video of our uh, reflections on the JPIC handbook. And uh, yeah, in the last, in the previous video, we talked about the basis of our commitment to the JPIC in the order. And there were five basic sources for our Capuchin commitment to JPIC. The first one, which was the scriptures, we already discussed in the previous video. Now, on this video, we will be discussing the second element, which is the Catholic social teachings or the Catholic documents. So this will be JPIC in relation to our Catholic social teaching. Well, let us not waste any more time and let us now go to this discussion or reflection on the relationship of JPIC to the Catholic social teaching. Okay, so today we will be talking about the second one of the five elements that a JPIC animator can talk about when they are invited to give lectures or seminars. No? This second uh, article, the first one we have mentioned already in the previous video, is about the use of the, the basis of JPIC in the scriptures. Now, the basis of JPIC, now the second topic is the basis of JPIC in the light of the teachings of the church or the church documents now in this present time the most uh, most very uh, the, the the thing that is most popular right now and very effective and really touches the heart are the two last documents of our pope francis which is laudato si and our fratelli tutti now when you look at it no, uh, to be able to understand how we will be able to expound on the relationship of JPIC to the church documents, maybe we can uh, take one element uh, or one phrase from the, uh, it's number 49 from Laudato Si, the encyclical Laudato Si, and it speaks about the cry of the earth and the cry of the poor. Now, in this church document, which is Laudato Si, Pope Francis tells us though, that uh, when we speak of ecological problems, it is usually interrelated with social problems. So when we speak of ecological concerns, it, we cannot help but also include the sociological concerns. For example, uh, when there is a super typhoon, when there is a calamity that happens in, in, in any part of the world, oftentimes the most affected portion of the society are those who are poor, those who are excluded. Because oftentimes, for example, if there's a super typhoon, it devastated one area, the rich can easily move to another place. But the poor has to remain to the same place because this is their source of livelihood. The land is their life. So in a certain sense, when, when there is a calamity around, it is the poor who suffers the most when certain ecological emergencies happen. At the same time also, when you go to those uh, when you go to those areas in the society where those who are excluded those who are poor are are, are located you no know, for example the favelas and also the slum areas in in different parts of the world these are also the areas where uh, the environment suffers the most this is the area where there is the greatest amount of pollution where there is a greatest accumulation of garbage and where the the, the services is is really in, in a suboptimal condition. So you can see here that environment and also the people who are excluded from the society cannot be separated from each, each other. And this goes back again to this uh, biblical reality that all of us are interconnected. Uh, when God created the universe, when God created mankind, when God created nature, He created them to be able to live in symbiosis, to, to be able to live together and to be able to help each other as they journey, going back to the loving arms of the Father. But if there is a, a certain imbalance in it, when we do not recognize each one as, as part of us, when we do not recognize that we are all interconnected, then problems come problems arise. For example, um, we need to recognize that uh, the suffering of the environment also causes us to suffer also. The suffering of the environment is our suffering. The suffering of the poor is also our suffering. Any discomfort or any problem that occurs in the rest of the universe and the rest of humanity, it affects us. We might not feel it, 
in directly but in an indirect way it affects us and this is one of the things that we can share when we are in the process of animating when we give lectures and everything and uh, as i have said earlier this should uh, we could we could be able to deepen or make the experience more profound by creating activities where the people can really see the effects of the injustices that we have done to the environment and how these effects are affecting also the excluded in our society. So it's also very important for us that it's not only the uh, lectures and, and the talks that we give, but also it's further enriched if we also include certain activities that would bring these people to areas where the environment and those who are excluded in the society are also suffering. And oftentimes the most effective people to be able to let the people experience this reality are those JPIC members who are really working in the peripheries, working in our existential peripheries. So this is our second topic, which is uh, the second element wherein we are able to interrelate the JPIC realities to that of the teachings of the church. After this, we will be going to the third element on the next video, and it will speak on the uh, Franciscan, Franciscan spirituality with regards to JPIC. So we will try to see uh, the relationship of JPIC to our Franciscan spirituality. So uh, this ends our video. No, uh, when you look at it, no, uh, the only. The thing that we would try to see, you know, uh, nature, as we can see, is very resilient and it is strong. It is able to recover, but we need to assist nature by giving it time to heal itself. And the best way to give it time to heal itself is also to lessen the trauma that the environment is experiencing. And because if we are able to do that, we are also indirectly helping also the rest of the humanity, especially those who are excluded in our society. Well, that's it for now. I hope to see you again in our next video, which is uh, the third element, which speaks of the relationship of JPIC to our Franciscan spirituality. Until next time, have a great day.